Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today guys, I'm doing my week three in Tanya's Facebook challenge, which is Tatty Treasures and Friends. Uh, there's a monthly challenge on and this week, uh, sorry, this month the theme is, oh, I've got stacks of those. So it's about using things that you've got lots of that you never get out. And what I'm going to use today is I've sorted a cupboard out and I've got so many wooden embellishments and this box is just all different kinds of frames, just full of different frames. So I thought that would be something nice to use today. So what I've done is I've just made this off camera and it's just one of the little frames and I've just fancied it up a little bit. I just thought there'd be some nice embellishments to put on onto some projects so that's what I'm going to make today so I've just got a piece of scrap paper here what I've done off camera is I've chosen six frames and I've used just an alcohol marker and I've, I was going to get paints out and then I thought I'll try the pens and they've just coloured them in fantastic so I've coloured five so I'm just going to colour this one in and just show you yeah just an alcohol marker so I've just gone all over it I went to get my paints out and then I thought, oh, I wonder whether my pens will go over it because these pens, I've got the full collection of these Spectrum Noir. They're only the classic ones, the very old ones, but I never use them. So I thought, let's get these out and let's see if we can colour. And yeah, it was made up because they went over. So yeah, Tanya's uh, Facebook group is called Tatty Treasures and Friends. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. Tanya has a lovely YouTube channel. She has a lovely Etsy shop, so I'll try and remember to leave links for them all for you if you want to go over and have a look. So what I'm going to do first is I've chosen, I've just been through my stash and chosen five little images um, that I'm going to put behind my frame. So I'm just going to see where I need to trim them down. So I need to take a little bit off the bottom of that one. Right, so that one's okay. Let's do this one. So this one will have to go this way because it's it's that way. So we need to take a little bit off each of those sides. Yeah, I, I've got a cupboard at the side of my desk that I never go into and I thought I'm going to have a look what's in there and it's just full to the top of all different kinds of wooden embellishments. So I thought, yeah, let's get some of them out and let's use them. A little bit more off here. I think it'll just be easier cutting them now than when I put them on when I've glued them down trying to cut around them shapes I think it would be quite fiddly to try and cut around them so there's another one right this one so just a little tiny bit off all four sides yeah I thought these would be nice to go on projects I just wanted a change from working with my 6x6 six six papers yeah, that one's okay there. Right, these butterflies will have to go that way as well. Are they going to fit? Yeah, just about. Let's just take a little bit off the end. A little tiny bit more. <laughs> I'll put it straight there. Yeah, that one's okay. And the same with this one. A little bit off each end. Tiny little bit more. I don't want them sticking out of the edges. Yeah, there's that one. And then this one, I was just going to try and cut this bit of the bird out here. So, Right, I'll just cut a little bit more off this side and just do it like that. A little bit off this side and I think I've not cut straight. Do you know, I couldn't cut in a straight line if my life depended on it. Could I? Heck? Right, there we go. So that's them already. Right, let's just put these into the into the bin. Right, before I start sticking down, I've got some wax. I'll show you now. Just put them there and then I know which is which. And it's just the Cosmic Shimmer Opal Polish. And this colour is called 
apricot, gilded apricot opal polish and it looks like a peach but when you actually put it on your projects, where's that thing gone, I don't know whether you can see, if I hold it up to the camera can you see how it comes out gold, so I'm going to put a little bit of this round all of my frames, I'm just going to use what's in the lid, you only need a little tiny bit on, I'm just going to just work it into my frame yeah, I thought, oh, I don't know why I've bought that colour. And then I remembered I'd watched somebody using it. And remember, see how lovely it just ages them up. It's really lovely colour. Not what you think it would be on the on the top. It just doesn't look like a peachy colour at all. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, it just gives them a nice aged look. It's beautiful. There's that one. And as you can see, I'm only putting my finger in the lid and I've got plenty to go around. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't that lovely? Really nice. Let's just spread it out a little bit. And then this one. I thought to myself when I spotted it, why have I bought that colour? I would never use a peachy colour like that. And then when I tried it, like I said, I remembered watching somebody using it, this colour, and thinking, I'll have to get some of that. Let's put a little bit more on that one. It's not as shiny. Okay, I have to put my finger in there now. Uh, which one have we not done, this one? Yeah, I love that, it's gorgeous. That pen that I used, it's, oh, I don't think, oh, no, it's just a number. It doesn't say what colour pen it is because the pen's a nice colour as well. Let's do this one. A bit more. Right, I think that's enough on there. And I've only used a tiny little bit. So yeah, that one is called Apricot if you like the colour. Yeah, right, let's just, I think that'll dry on my hands. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick on my images. So let's just get some glue. Um, as you can see, the back are like purple and pink. I would never use that side in my journaling. So I thought, what can I do with them to to use some okay so let's get this one and let's stick this down first just like that yep uh, I need some tissue and I don't think I've got any in my room no I haven't have I got a cloth let's just get yeah I've got a cloth here let's just wipe the back of that and then I don't get glue everywhere Okay, there's that one. Right, let's do this one. Okay, uh, that one's got to go that way, hasn't it? So, let's make sure that I'm putting it on right before I press it down. And then the same with this one. So, how are we doing, guys? Are we all okay? It's a beautiful day outside. I'm not going anywhere today. Um, no, I'm just feeling very tired lately. I've just been having a really relaxing morning and the workmen haven't been today. I think they've almost finished. So I thought, right, let's try and get some videos recorded because as you know, I'm going away at the end of the month for five days. We're going up to see family. So I'm going to try and get some videos in the bank. But if I don't, then... Yeah, it's only five days, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll be okay. I can't get hold of it. <laughs> don't want to put glue on the front of it. I like that image. It's really nice. Right, let's put the back again. Okay, there's that one. Now this one. Hubby's just on his way into town to get a little bit of shopping. So the house is lovely and quiet. Okay. 
And the last one. Yeah, so have a look in your stuff, guys. Like I said, I couldn't believe it when I opened the cupboard how many wooden embellishments I've got. And I'm always looking for frames. And I, to be honest, it's one of them cupboards that you never go in and I completely forgot about it. And a couple of days ago I was thinking, I'm going to have a look what's in that cupboard. And I was amazed when I went through it and I found all the wooden embellishments. Tons and tons of them. So I thought, right, let's get them used then. Well, let's get some of them used. Okay. So that is that, right, I'm just going to bring in my ink and I'm just going to ink around the edges a little bit, just where I might have missed with my pen. Right, now what I'm going to do now is I've got, I've cut some leaves, well I had, I've had these cut for a long time, this is something else that I've got boxes of that I never get out, so I thought we'd just fancy them up with some leaves so let's just do this one first okay so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue I'm going to put one up each side just a little bit of glue and you need a little bead of glue I don't want it everywhere stick that leaf on there and then stick that one up there this glue does dry clear so that'll be fine if it'll stick come on stick why aren't you sticking? There we go. So I'm just going to let that glue grab for a minute. Let's do another one. Oh, can't get hold of it. We'll just let them dry off for a few minutes. This one. Oh, we're going that way, so I need two small ones on here, really. Let's do these two. I hope these will stay on. They should do once the glue's dried. If not, I'll get my hot glue going out. So there's that one. Uh, we need small ones for this one as well. Why have I only got two more leaves? I could have swore I got six lots out. I'll have to go in and get some more out, never mind. Oh, they're here, I think. And this one. Oh no, I've not. I could have swore I got 12 leaves out. There's that one. Right, this one. Oh, I love that gilding polish. It's a really lovely colour. Doesn't half age them up. I'm going to rip a little bit of that off. I don't want it that tall. Well, that goes nice with that flower, actually, that one. Right, let's have a look if I've got a couple more. That fell underneath, have they? Well, that's bizarre because I was almost 100% sure I counted out 12 leaves. Let's have a look. Um, little ones. Oh, there's one. That's that one. There you are, and two of them. Okay, right, let's put some glue on here. We don't need all that, that's far too big. Just cut it down a little bit. Oops, we're stuck to the paper. Right, let's put some glue on here. Let's stick them on there. And then this one. I think I'm going to rip a bit of that off as well. It's a bit tall. I don't want them. Okay. So I'll let you dry off for a minute. And then all I'm going to do, guys, to finish off, is I'm going to put some Nouveau drops at the top, like I've done on the other one. Just take them off. 
Um, I'm going to use this gold one. I'm just going to make sure it's working okay before I... Yep. So I'm just going to put some Nouveau drops just at the top of my frames. in Tanya's Facebook challenge I'll try and zoom in a little bit more um, like I said I'll leave links to everything in my description box if you want to go over and have a look so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by to watch take care and I'll see you soon in my next video bye for now